say if we don't ship it, someone will. That's the age-old Huckster's promo shill. For years they got away with it, but the dangers make us throw a fit. They're only dreaming of their thousand-dollar bill. The first news we got of this huge increase in coal exports was from an application by Neptune Terminals, which is just across the Burrard Inlet behind me here, to go twice as big with its coal exports. If you're a resident of North, of North Vancouver like I am, it would have been better to have a longer time to come and talk to the port about the effects that was going to have. But really there was very little time for anyone to come in and talk to the port about the issue, and there was very little opportunities to do so. So I encourage you all to tell your friends, tell your neighbours, get involved with this, let people know. When they can't run the barges because it's too windy, they're going to pile up the coal. When they pile up the coal and it's windy, the coal dust is going to blow around. It's a windy day right now and the wind is blowing across the river. Um, I wouldn't want to be standing here if there was a 30,000 ton pile of coal right over there. Nobody from the Surrey Fraser docks has advised us or passed along any information to the residents in the area. Apparently they expect to have everything done as a fait accompli without advising anybody in Surrey, or North Surrey, about this. No, none of my neighbours seem to know anything about it either. I've been uh, asking people in the, in the neighbourhood if they have been advised about this and they haven't. What folks don't realise is your average 125 car Burlington Northern Santa Fe coal train puts out about 20,000 pounds of coal dust as it snakes its way from the Powder River Basin. It's about probably a week, eh? A week and a half? Ten days, maybe. Yeah. Not, not even. Yeah. That, that is serious coal dust. So it's super important that we stop this brand new coal port, but it's, it's also important we realize that we're already exporting American coal out of BC, right here out of West Shore Terminals next to the Tawasin Ferry uh, Terminal. And that's because, you know, there's all this coal in the United States, and more and more uh, public utilities and states and provinces are saying, we don't want to use coal to create power. It's too dirty, it hurts the local environment, public health, and it's bad for the climate. So these coal companies want to get this coal out of North America and over to Asia. And so far, all up and down the US West Coast, cities have been really successful at stopping coal ports. Because we have the weakest laws in the ports process, we're the path of least resistance and they want to bring the coal up here. So we need to stop this coal port and candidates need to stand up and say this is a bad idea in this election. But we need to start talking about the American coal that's already going out of BC right now. Although the Port Authority has the final say, it's really important that our provincial candidates and our provincial MLAs stand up against this and say what they think. Their positions matter and if they take a stand, it'll make a difference.